Dr. Brightsward regularly consults with infectious disease specialists at Duke University Medical Center about the Bartonella bacteria, which is a vector-borne illness that can sicken people and animals. Though some strains of the bacteria were discovered more than a century ago, relatively little was known about Bartonella before a number of HIV patients became infected. If it were not for the AIDS epidemic, um, we would not perhaps know that Bartonella existed as an important cause of disease in animals and humans in North America today. The result, as we started using better diagnostic techniques and better microbiological techniques for the detection of Bartonella, is we went from three species in 1990 to over 30 species today. This bacteria can perhaps be transmitted by more vectors than any other infectious agent than we currently know about. So fleas, lice, biting flies and cattle, keds, which are essentially wingless flies, um, ticks, mites, and some other arthropods are either highly suspected or proven to be able to transmit these bacteria. Mice, rodents, cats, dogs, squirrels, foxes can all be infected with different Bartonella species by a vector, a tick or a flea, and that those organisms can periodically make the jump from that animal to a human by a bite or a scratch or by a bite of one of these arthropods. While giving lectures about how Bartonella can cause heart valve infections and other medical problems in dogs, Dr. Brightsward started being approached by veterinary professionals with their own health issues. Eventually, he received special permission to do tests on their blood to check for the presence of Bartonella. He even helped to start the company that did the testing. When we examined the first 50 veterinary professionals, half of them had a Bartonella in their blood, which was obviously not what we expected. We never dreamed that we would find a prevalence that high. Bartonella bacteria also turned up in Brightsward's father, a World War II veteran and part-time farmer. Brightsward made this discovery after his father fell repeatedly, breaking a hip, and then developed symptoms such as tremors, fever, and gastrointestinal symptoms that left his doctors puzzled. When I was a boy, my dad would say there's something fishy in Denmark, meaning something about the story just doesn't make sense. And I, I do think the experience with my dad has influenced me as to this genus bacteria. In the years since his father's death, Dr. Brightsward's lab has tested the blood of more than 1,200 people for Bartonella. Many of these tests have come back positive. I believe that this genus is causing a tremendous amount of disease in animals and humans. I think that society is paying a tremendous price emotionally, medically, and financially.